Am I too old at 40 to start an audio business? No, hell no. You can start at any age you want. The thing is, is if you love what you do, and majority of the time, if you're working in the creative industry like audio, um, you love audio. You love what you're doing, and that's why you want to start a business doing it. And anything you love, you will make a success out of because you love doing it. Um, so... Uh, yeah, 40 is 40 not old at all to be starting a business. Uh, I wouldn't even say 50 is too old. Um, I'll tell you a story. I started a business when I was probably about 19. Flopped. The reason it flopped was because I wasn't 100% focused on that business. Um, I was more focused on going out having a good time, enjoying myself. And there was there was other things that I wanted to be doing. Like Friday night would come round and it was all about, let's go out. Whereas Friday night comes round now and it's like, right, let's get on with some work. Um, so there, there's your kind of differences there. Um, first business flopped. That was an audio business. Um, that didn't go great um second business i was about 21 maybe that one lasted about a year and that ultimately flopped um 20 probably about 26 i think i was about 26 25 26 started audio animals huge success now the reason for that was that the first business flopped the second business flopped the third business succeeded. But the thing is, is I went from the first business to the second business. I took something from the first business. I knew what, what the reasons why that one didn't work. Took that to the next business. Then I worked out some more what didn't work, what did work. And then I went on to the next business. I knew what would work at that point. The difference I had at these points was that the first business and the second business, I wasn't 100%, right? I had other priorities, which were having fun, going out, being with friends, doing all different other things. Fast forward to audio animals, and I eat, sleep, and just everything is audio. Everything is the business. And that is why I made such a success of it. I was doing, um, uh, not so much now, but I was doing at the very start of, to get the business off the ground, I was doing, I remember doing about 20 hours work a, a day easily on, and that was Monday to Sunday. That was every single day of the week. And that was, that was because I was, I mean, I really, really enjoy what I do. I really enjoy um, doing it. Now, when I say I did 20 hours, that's not 20 hours of sitting over a desk, mixing, 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 mixing. That's 20 hours building the foundations of a company. That's 20 hours creating inward links to a website. That's 20 hours, you know, building content that draws people to the website. That's 20 hours building advertising campaigns. It's There's so much more to a business than just what the service that you provide. Um, that's maybe 50% of it. There's 50% the other side of it, which is all the kind of, I don't know if the infrastructure of the, of the, of the company is the right word, but just everything about the 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 company that's um uh not part of the actual service so you have to just want to succeed i remember <clears throat> the first year of business um i didn't take a wage from the business for the first year and that was so that everything could be reinvested back into the business and that's that's why things succeed is because um, you've got to be able to put everything into it. Um, and if you can do that at 40 or 50, then you'll make a success of it. The problems you have as you get older <clears throat> 
is that you have family, you have other things that are a priority. Like I have a family, I've got a wife, two kids. They are as much of a priority to me as my business. Um, but I juggle the two and I work, I have a very good way of working with everything. Um, so if the problem what I would have, if I started my business now, I would not be able to do those 20 hours a day. I wouldn't be able to do the, the constant, um, <clears throat> just nonstop work that I, um, I, I, I really enjoyed actually doing. Um, I still do really enjoy that. Um, I now, I probably do, let's say, I do about, I reckon I do about a 10 hours off, yeah, 10 hours off, which would be, what's that, 14 hour day. I do about a 14 hour day, every day. But that's not 14 hours sitting over a desk, that's 14 hours doing mixing, that's 14 hours doing everything that's involved in the service, and then there's there's parts where I'm adding content, I'm shooting videos, I'm doing all these sorts of what I call extracurricular um, stuff that that ultimately drives traffic to us and promotes us as a business, and the reasons for doing all this extracurricular stuff is to bring in the service to be able to do this. Um, so is 40 too late? No, it's not too late. You can start any sort of business at any age you want. Um, and the one thing I would say is if you love what you do and you have a passion for what you do, um, you can start that at any age. You can do it at any age. Um, obviously the younger you do it, the better, but you have to be in that mindset. You have to be a 100% um, wanting to succeed otherwise you will not um, my problems when if, if I started audio animals when I was 21 it would have been a flop it would have failed and that would have been fact it could have been the best thing in the world but ultimately I, I wasn't the best thing in the world at 21 because I didn't have the priorities to make this work um, the difference is I think I, I, I started it at a very good age, 25, 26. And the reason I made such a success of it was because of, of what I had around me at the time. Um, and I had a, a great team with me and my cousin who really kind of worked our socks off to make a success of it. So is 40 too late? No. But I maybe wouldn't be able to start Audio Animals at 40 as well as I could have done at 25 and the reason at 25 I could do it so well is because I didn't have a wife I didn't have a kids um and I didn't have um the pressures that come with providing for a family um and I I, I totally get where some people are coming from if they can't start a business because they have um all this um, as well, like the, um, the the responsibilities of a mortgage, responsibilities of a family, and so many people relying on you, you can't just risk it all, because um, the first business may fail, the second business may fail, the third, the fourth, the fifth may fail, but at some point, if you do not give up, um, and you're, you're willing to put 100% into it, and a lot of time, and a lot of effort, for very, very little at the start, uh, you will succeed one day and you will you will make a success of things. Um, and one thing I always say is is if you if you if you like it, there's 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 gonna be people out there that like it as well. So um yeah just 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 do it. I mean I, just just go out there and just just do what you want to do. And don't care what anyone thinks. If someone, if if if, for instance, your parents, you know, you're forty, your parents turn around to you and say, "No, nah, what are you doing? You know, get a proper job." And I, I heard that a lot. Get a proper job. Do this. Do that. And it's, you know, I heard the 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 
get a proper job, get a desk job. And I was just like, this is my desk job. This is the only desk I want to be working over. And it's like, believe me that, that once you actually, once you, if you start your business and you make a success of your business, no matter what age you are, if you make a success of your business and you do what you love, you will be so rich inside, in here. Not so much, forget the money. The money's irrelevant. It's nice, but it's irrelevant. It's what, what's in here and how you feel deep down, whether you're making your mark on the world, whether you're, um, you're happy with yourself. I'd be really unhappy if I didn't if I didn't have this um, or if I lost this and had to do something else. I'd be really unhappy um, because this is what I want to do. And believe me, if you do what you want to do, I mean, it's so cliche. You'll never work a day in your life, but it's it's very, very true. I, 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 I will get up and I will do 18 hours work happily. Um, I would never do 18 hours work for someone else's company. I just, nah, I do it for me. I don't do it for someone else. I will work and work and work for me. And that's what you can do at 40, at 50, at 30, at 20. You can do, you can do that, but you've got to, got to be prepared to do everything. And if it fails, so be it. Start another company. Try again. Just keep trying again. One thing I will say actually before for ending this video is um, one of the worst things that happened to me was that um, hours out when when we started earning quite a lot lot of money, for instance, um, hours had a value because of how much could be made in an hour. Um, so when hours start having value. You start to think, and it, it's a very negative thing, and you have to kind of try and get out of this mindset because it, it nearly ruined me, that I'll sit and write an article, right? And I'll think, well, that that's taken me an hour to write this article. Um, and it's not generating any money. But it might do over a long period of time, and it's not it's not necessarily that right there and then that you're going to post that out and see instant income from it. But you'll see people Google that in two years time, come in through that link, find your service do and work with you. So that, that article that took you maybe 30 minutes, uh, an hour to write and publish, um, you put an X amount of money as that's how much money my hourly rate, for instance, that's how much it cost me to write that. And then you think, oh, no, well, I've not made any money from that. I could have been mixing and making actual real money. But it's the longevity of it. That's what you've got to think. You've got to think that that, that link that comes in, how much that, that makes. For instance, a, a prime example of this is um, I created um, a sample pack, for instance. If I create a sample pack, um, put that online, um, people buy it say one a week the first week if, if someone bought it at one a week the first week um this sample pack right made 15 pound so oh, it took me it took me 10 hours to make it and I've, I've, I've earned 15 pound now look at it over the course of five years and you're talking oh it's made ten thousand pound so after 10 years you can look back at what you've done as all oh, right okay ten thousand pounds for 10 hours work okay fair enough i got paid a thousand pound an hour for that but at the time you don't think of it like that and the best thing to do is is try not to think of anything that's extracurricular and, and doesn't necessarily make money right there and then don't think of it as x amount per hour just think of it as I'm building my business, right? I'm building, I'm building this for the long haul, not for right here and now. Um, but I, I totally understand why people can't um, invest their time into the long haul. 
when they're not 100% focused on it and don't see long term. They only see the here and now. And that's something that you've got to kind of, as, as a business owner, as a director of a company, you've got to kind of look at that and understand that. And, and these are all things that, that come with age. And I didn't have that mentality and that knowledge when I was 21. I maybe realized that when I was after the second business, when I was 20, uh, 23, and then I took that on to my next business. Do you know what? I probably didn't even realize that at the start of Audio Animals. That was probably something that I learned whilst doing Audio Animals because I, I physically did start to um, to realize, I did start putting a price tag on my hours that I would was doing extracurricular stuff then i realized and, and and adapted the way that i was thinking um it's partly one one of the reasons why i stopped writing music uh, myself because i i would write music um for personal reasons just to just for fun and then it was like well then i started writing for other people for instance and there was a price tag on my time when I was writing. So then when I was writing for my own things, it was like, well, I could be writing for someone else and making X amount. And it's it's a bad thing to do. It's a bad way to look at things because when I used to write music, I was writing it for me and it was for, for my own uh, enjoyment. And uh, that can get lost. So try not to just take that on, on board because uh, that's an important one and that's something that I wish someone had sat me down and done a video like that and explained that to me. Uh, so I think that's an important one for you to, um, if, if you're watching this, to actually um, understand from someone that's been there, done that and got the t-shirt. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my, my thoughts on that. And yeah, uh, any questions, just drop them in. Uh, there's a link in the description to go onto the website and uh, ask a question. But yeah, if you've got any questions that you want answering, and I really like these sorts of questions, so I've got a real good kind of um, natural knowledge and, um, and first-hand experience on the majority of these styles of question.